Hey, what's happening everybody? This is your man, the Leather Cowboy, right here at Premier Leather Crafters in the Dirty Dirty. It's late, and I know it's been a minute since I did the last video about the customized Hey Dudes. So what I did, ladies and gentlemen, I, I didn't uh, prolong this or drag this out by letting you guys see the uh, tool and work. I think you guys are far enough along if you've been following me for a while about how to properly do some simple tooling designs. So, but I want to let you know that we I did all of the tooling work, uh, got all that out the way, just did a basic simple geometric st stamp out of, uh, and I'm gonna give you guys the numbers and I told you that I would. So let me look over here and grab you the numbers real quick and get the uh, camouflager. Now, what I did ladies and gentlemen, I did a simple geometric pattern very something very simple not too hard uh, the same basic and I know you guys probably can't see these too well uh, and I'll probably do a follow-up video just to let you guys know and then I stamp my own uh, my business logo in there just something simple uh, and I used the uh, tool so you guys can have these I use the C433 C433. This is a Tandy's tool. It's the camouflage tool. It's just a small version of the big boy. Um, and I think I brought a, Oh, yeah. Here's the big boy. Uh, it's just a smaller version or the mid sized version of the C453. So the C453 is the bigger one. And the C433 is his little brother. So small project, small tool. And then to make that geometric shape, uh, I used another Tandy's tool, uh, and this is uh, um, the basket weave stamp. The basket weave stamp, and I'm gonna give you the numbers on this one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh God, even with old man eyes, I can't see this. This is K534. That might be an X. X534. Again, it's late here, uh, but I wanted to get uh, you guys to see uh, the finished product because as promised I wanted to get these done so all that's left to do and you can see how these are going to form on the tops here all that's left to do I'm going to put a heavy coat of Neek's foot oil on these because the shoe is tan brown and tan so I just want to darken these up just a little bit on the naturalness of the, the, the leather itself so I'm going to put some, uh, I'm probably going to coat this twice, real heavy. The first coat is going to be real heavy, uh, uh, Neat's Foot Oil, just to get that rich color in there. Now, understand this thing about Neat's Foot Oil, especially when you're doing a natural color. It has a yellowish tint to it. So when you apply in Neat's Foot Oil on the natural hide itself, it's going to give it a yellow tint not bad because uh, uh, but the heavier you put it, it you know it's going to go on dark and then as it starts to absorb into the leather uh, all the way through you probably won't even have to go two coats I probably won't have to go two coats because the leather is, uh, is, is a thin gray but uh, I'm going to put one heavy coat on there to make sure that it stays soft as well as it's going to help repel water now it's going on shoes ladies and gentlemen so you never know you might start out the day and it's dry and then it might turn to rain uh, before you get off work or before you get back home or whatever the case may be but you want that water to be repelled that's why you want to put that oil in there now you guys also uh, it's not going to hurt it if you choose to dye your product your project so if you choose to dye them still come back with the neat foot oil uh, after all of your dyes has been uh, 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 absorbed and buffed and all of that stuff and, and uh, now quick question real quick uh, if you're going to dye and buff and super sheen or uh, you're going to put some type of protection coating on the top then you would need foot oil from the grain side or the flesh side you want to put some neat squid oil from the flesh side and let it be pulled still up into the leather and then it can help keep that uh, uh, leather water repellent as well as flexible. You're going to need heavy oil 
to keep it flexible. It's going on your foot, so you want this to bend with the toes and the foot and the shoe. Now, now that you guys see, as promised, ladies and gentlemen, this is how it's going to go. I'm going to all these, ladies and gentlemen, and then I'm going to run my, uh, my stitching holes. So tomorrow, hopefully, God willing, creek don't rise, Lord don't come back. I'm going to come back and stitch these on, and then by Monday, you guys should be able to be, now you probably won't see the finished products. I might do a quick video just to show you the finished product. So I might do an all-in-one, um, the stitching and then the finish. That way I can get all of the videos in one instead of doing another separate video just to show you these. Or you can go to my Facebook page, which is Premier Leather Crafters. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, as well as Twitter. Uh, and now I am also on TikTok. So you guys can be able to see the finished products uh, of these shoes there. Now, these are mine. And I, again, I suggest that you go, if you're gonna get off into this small project, very small, you see, very small. But I have seen uh, pictures on Pinterest, uh, on Etsy, uh, on, on, as well as Facebook and, tick and uh, Instagram. These shoes, ladies and gentlemen, go anywhere as high as $385. Now, I found mine on Amazon. They're on Amazon for $52. Now, there is a knockoff Hey Dude, which will alter your price. So, if you are going to cater to two markets, you can cater to a, uh, a not so expensive market by buying the knockoff Hey Dudes. Same exact design, same makeup. They're just not Hey Dudes. And you can buy those on Amazon for around $34.99. Or if you want to keep that value and keep that price up there, you can buy the authentic Hey Dude. And uh, again, based on your skill set and how much work that you have involved in the creation of that into your patterns, you can get these, uh, uh, again, I've seen them go as high as 385 So you're making your money back, your $52 back from the shoe itself, unless the customer brings them to you. And then you can just charge them the work for doing the uh, the work and the labor for applying the level. Which some customers you will do that. You will have some that bring their own shoes because they know that they can buy the hey dudes from there. And then you just set your prices accordingly. So if you're just doing the work and the labor based on your skill set, you know, it's 150 to 200 bucks. So again, hey, now that you guys have seen it, I kept my word. New season, new season. Uh, from Premier Leather Crafters right here in the Dirty South with me, your friend, your brother, your favorite cousin, your favorite uncle, whatever you want to call me, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, I have a ball. I love doing this, and I have some more projects in store for you guys right after these hate dudes. I'm going to get right off into making custom cigar holders. That's going to be a phenomenal small project that can make you a lot of bank. It is a lot of people uh, that are into cigars. And that market is wide open for leather crafters. I'm gonna show you guys how to make those and how from start to finish, how to form your mold, how to get your, um, your, 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 your cigar holders wet formed so they'll have that shape and they can easily slide your cigars right into it and then they can keep them, the, uh, keep them uh, uh, nice, moist, and not drying out so fast. Hey. You guys tune in to the next one. I'll be right back tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow evening, probably Sunday. More likely Sunday. Tomorrow's got a full day. Got to get some customers orders out of here. But we're going to get the video shot this weekend. And it will be posted. If you're following the page, you already know. You'll get a notification when this video comes out. So, uh, and then you'll get to see those uh, oiled, finished product, sewn on, ready to rock and roll. And I might just wear them out. Hey, got a hot date. Can't be late. You guys, see you on the other side. Peace.